around the world in 80 days. Try in one night only. That was the ambitious aim of the University of Iowa's annual cultural ball, to take attendees on a whirlwind trip across cultures from all over the world. From 111 countries all around the globe, some 3,400 international students currently call Iowa City their home away from home. The night was in celebration of them and their various cultures. And what better way to celebrate than by dancing? Performances by Iowa Andi, the Irish Dancers, Near East Dance Ensemble, Hawkeye Bangra, and the Korean Undergraduate Student Association brought the audience to their feet. And I mean that literally. Audience members were encouraged to get in on the fun with free dance lessons by the Hawkeye Ballroom dancers. The night was punctuated with speeches by the organization Students Abolishing Slavery. Highlighted were the chilling truths of modern day slavery and the inspiring victories being made in the fight against it. I'd like my guests to, you know, be familiar that there is there is tons of different cultures out there, tons of ways to celebrate it. We should celebrate diversity, um, not just tolerate it. Um, and I think that's the purpose behind this event. It's to bridge the gap between international students and domestic students. And then second comes in my organization. I would really like people to walk away with the understanding that slavery still exists um, and it exists all around the world, but not just in third world countries where everybody likes to place it, but here in the United States. And as students, we're in a very optimal position to like make a change and so I hope that students are walking away feeling educated a little bit about the issue or at least be encouraged to um, do a little bit more research and find out what they can do as students to make a difference. The name of the University of Iowa's cultural ball was to both inform and entertain its attendees and as you can see it seems to have done just that. Zachary Dotson, Daily Iowan TV.